garlic in. And then we're going to chop up this onion. Same trick, middle finger, thumb, pressure, using the index finger to guide to keep the one that you've just cut down. Sometimes it works really well, other times it doesn't work at all. Okay, so we're going to slice it the long way. Turn it and chop it. The golden rule of thumb <laughs> is that you can cook and look, but you can't chop and watch. Always keep your hand on your blade when you're chopping. Now serrano pepper. I'm going to use two of them today. And I'm just going to slice them in rounds. Never use your knife blade to scrape things up. You can use the top half, but by scraping your blade on the wood, you dull it. And now our little bits of golden goodness. We already took time out and brushed them clean of forest debris. So I'm just going to chop them. Even though you have to get the work done, why not enjoy the work? Like, I like chopping vegetables. There are some things I don't like doing, like making sausage. I hate putting the innards into the casing. Kind of makes me vomit my mouth a little bit. Mm-hmm. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. They're like, it's better than yours. And now, in addition to the salt and pepper, I am going to put some tamari in here just to kind of widen the flavor. It's about, that was maybe a half a teaspoon. Mm. Next part, fresh corn. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. Uriah taught me at the cafe, if you have a bunt pan, you can put the corn in the middle of the pan and slice down. This is what I did yesterday and it just really kind of worked for me. This corn is so sweet and juicy, like it was squirting on me when I was shucking it earlier today. Ah, oh, shucks. And I put the corn in last because I don't want to cook it too long. You just want to cook it long enough so that you don't get a gut ache. So I got some heirloom tomatoes. We're going to slice up. If you've never had one before, they are just such the treat of summer. Unless, of course, you can't have tomato. Then they're just pretty to look at. In the fridge. I picked some arugula from the garden, and then I just put damp towels over it so that it wouldn't wilt or get nasty while it waited for us. Oh, look at that! Never spill the vodka. We're gonna try some say cheese gluten-free crackers today with our food. Everything is so close to being ready, so I'm gonna start plating it up. Beautiful. So I'm just going to do alternating slices of the tomato around. As soon as I get this ring done, I'm going to turn off the skillet because I just feel like that is ready for us. Mm. So I'm just going to put this gloriousness on top of this. Wait, there's more at the, the Sunday market. There is this person that sells fresh goat milk cheese that is unbelievable. 
and we are going to crumble it all over the top of this. Just look at this. Oh my gosh. So this one is the cauliflower with the chicken of the woods and the lobster mushrooms, rosemary from the garden, the barbouri, and raw milk, extra sharp cheddar. I'm gonna slice up half of it. Because as Mama Daylight always says, you never put it all out on the first day. Gotta leave it a little something for them to come back for. Even if it's just a little cheese. And then, in honor of my brother Ken, we always have to have Jarlsberg cheese. They didn't have the block today, but they had the pre-slice, so. I'm just gonna put that like that. And then, these are the arugula flowers. And I'm just going to put them down the middle. We're just going to scatter a few over our big dish. So there we have it. I am going to serve up my friends. I hope you will serve up your friends as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Daylight Comes, and you've been cooking with daylight. We'll see you next time.